Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. I would like to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with the Z. My name is Rita, or Zuri BB as my friends know me. I just tried to use this device to make a video, and it told me my microphone was not working. I had shut the... Um, I had shut it down so it wouldn't allow the microphone to work, but that's not true. So there's some hokey pokey whatever going on. But once I went in and looked at what was going on, now all of a sudden it's working. Strange. But anything. Anyway, um, I would like to thank the new subscribers who have come to my channel. I noticed I've been getting new subscribers, and I'm really excited about it. Um, that means that there may be some things, some new things. My collective is um, finding my channel. Now, what I want to say... Ooh, all right. I looked... I got... Over 700 subscribers now, which I'm really excited about. Um, who is this? Getting these strange calls from people. It's just, it's weird. I'm just getting a lot of weird stuff. But let me talk about yesterday. Um, went to work. Um, made the decision well I have been trying to do it for a while and I found something that I've been trying to do I'm not going to really go into it and I'm going to talk about it scripture guided me to it today which was funny but I was out and about and I saw a uh, um you know how they have the little sayings on the um, frame? It said, follow your path. But it was in reverse. I noticed it. Because first I saw follow your path. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. But it was in reverse. The sign was upside down. And I was like, what? What's that about? And so, today, that was yesterday. And so today... Came home, went to work, came home. Flipping through TikTok. Well, not even flipping. It was the first thing that, looking at TikTok, and the first thing that came up was um, these two scriptures. And the first one was Proverbs 13.3. And I'm going to, you know, let me stop. Because... Even though I saw it on the channel, I said I was going to look it up in my Bible. One of my Bibles. I have several. Let me pull it up. Sorry about this, because I was not expecting to do this. But I'm going to go to... Proverbs 13.3. One way. Proverbs 13.3 says, He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. So, what I got from that, and even the video said it, you talk too much. People tell too much of the business. If you don't tell everybody your business, then you don't have to worry about having to protect things. But if you keep opening up your mouth, you're going to get... It says here, he who guards his lips guards his life, but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin. And then when I got ready to do it, I shuffled the cards. Ten of Swords came up. 
crazy how this is coming through. So now we're going to Matthew 6, 1. Never thought I'd be this type of person to be reading out of the Bible on my channel. But it says, Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seeing them. Well, let me let me go back. Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Now, I'm reading from the um, King. That was the King James version. But I'll read with with the video said because I wrote it down. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven or the divine. Ten of Swords. There is an energy about that. There's an energy that you are, there's an energy that you're backstabbing yourself. There's a lot of you talking. And this is your inner child talking as well. Your inner child is saying, be quiet. And I hear this song in my head. You talk too much, you worry me too much. I remember that as a kid. I remember hearing that song and I used to laugh about it. But it makes so much sense. I'm going to actually look for the song and I'm going to connect it when I upload the video. I'm going to connect it to this video because and here we go. Um, before I started the video, I played my um, singing bowl because I had to clear the air because it was something weird going on. I'm at the end of this crazy um sage bundle that looked it, it was just weird i didn't like it it was connected to this i didn't like it i have a real regular sage bundle over there i'm gonna use it i want to burn that up and get rid of it because it had a weird smell to it as well but anyway um i think the reading we're going to talk about is going to be about Talking too much. Talk about Ten of Swords. You're coming out of the Ten of Swords or you're being Ten of Swords. Or you're protecting yourself from being Ten of Swords. Um, let's see what this is about. I don't know. Um, can I have a message? Look at that. That's the Magician. Somebody's creating something or somebody's being manipulated by a magician. Ten of swords. Same thing. You're ending a cycle of being, being mentally manipulated. That's the nine. So you have the ten of swords. You have a sword. You have the sword of truth. And where is his sword? His sword is right there. Or somebody's turn a sword in you. On the bottom is the Queen of Pentacles. So it could have something to do with money. And there was something I was going to say. And it disappeared. Oh, I should have stopped in the mid-sentence. But anyway, let's keep going. We have the Hermit here. This is major. Whatever this is, this is two major arcana. Somebody's going within. And looking at this, the two of swords, two of swords upright is you can't see something. But it's showing to me in reverse. So there is something being shown because you've gone within. Something's coming to light. And it could have something to do. Archangel Michael, you hear those sirens. There's something going on. 
one more card. Let's see what this is. Oh. Nope, it's in it's in reverse. Hey man, somebody's coming to a real this it's a realization of something. It's in reverse. Some kind of action. Two of Wands is taking an action. Wands are actions. You're doing something. So there is something. Somebody didn't take an action. Or action. You were not allowed to take an action. Or you're learning about something. You were stopped. Can I have something else? Wow. Four wands. It has something to do with your stability. And your fate, your will of fortune, your fate. So, um, uh, um, hmm. Look at that. There's that sword. Somebody doesn't want you... The Ten of Swords is up here in the upright, but this sword is in reverse. Somebody does not want you to see the truth in something. Even though you have the Ten of Swords and you have a sword upright. And one, two, three. It's four major arcanas here. This is major. I'm, I'm going to pull one more card. One more card, and then we're going to keep going. Can I have another card? Only one. Only one. And, of course, more than one fail, and I'm not going to argue with it. But it has something to do. Somebody walked away. Eight of Cups is on the bottom here. There's four cards here. Good Lord, let me see how we're going to do this. Ah, okay. You're balancing out this Ten of Swords because the devil is here. Um, You have the strength and it was sideways. So the something wasn't true about clear about it you have the six of wands is sideways somebody's coming to the realization that something was not as clear and then you got this devil energy and it's it's sideways so pretty much what's going on is this magician is trying to change fate in some kind of way the hermit is going within because strength is needed in a matter. You've come to an understanding because the hangman is in reverse and it has something to do with some, some kind of victory that's taking place in a in your stability and some type of something to do with your stability, relationship, something. And then there's this devil, this devil energy. And you're trying to balance out. There was some type of mental fuckery i'll say it that way and you walked away from it you walked away from it because it was deceitful and it has something to do with this ace of swords and a lot of fighting ace uh is that the king yeah that's the king of pentacles on the bottom but anyway um one two three four five Six, seven major arcana are here. So this is major. Very major. I only, I have this, this deck out here. I'm going to clarify. I almost was going to clarify with that deck, but I don't want to. I don't want to. But somebody's walking away from something. Hmm.
two of wands. Ten of wands. They're releasing a the burden. How many ten? Ten. Ten. Two tens. Ten tens. Some, ten, ten, ten. Three tens. Ten of wands in reverse. Ten of swords. And ten for the wheel of fortune. Ten, ten, ten. There is an ending of something. Wait, let's let uh, let me just back up a minute. Let's ask for protection. Um, divine burn off any negative energies that may come into this space during this message and return it to sender. Actually, we don't want to return it to sender, divine. We want to transmute it. We're not we're not giving them their power back. Whoever this is, we're going to use use the energy that they used against us. We're going to use it to create something out of it. So we're not returning the sender, but we want to be protected. And then we want the angels to cover us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet, wing to wing. And after that, we would like the white light of protection to cover us from the top of our head, soles of our feet, left, right, front, back, and extended 20 feet. And because we know our body is the vehicle for our souls during this lifetime, we're going to ask for another layer of protection, white light. Top of our head, soles of our feet, left, right, front, back, and extended 200 feet. You are with us. The angels are with us. The um, archangels are with us. The ascended masters are with us. Um, our ancestors are with us. The aliens are with us. Our spirit guide and teams are with us. Our higher self, our shadow, and our inner child are with us. And anyone who comes into this space, they are afforded the same level of protection that we are asking for. Now, as far as our ancestors, we want the known and the unknown ones to be there. Because we know that there are many, many, many ancestors we have no we don't know anything about them, but they know all about us. It is said, it's so, it's done. All right. Ugh. Had to do that because something going on here. What's going on with this? Um, We're ending, ending a burden. What we got, we have wines and we have swords. And this is really good because as above, so below. It always starts with the swords and then it happens with the wands next. Now this, um, our fate, that's a gift. That is a gift. Oh, I know what I wanted to say about this um, magician. Now this magician can create from with from the ground up or the magician can manifest off of someone else. So, um, Solera Speaks was talking about that and I am going to link her video with this when I when we're done. I am going to link it. She goes into more depth. But when she said manifest, what came to me was that somebody's feasting on what? On man. Man feasting. Feasting on man. So this could be some you end this could be a cycle of ending of someone feasting on to you, and that you will be able to create from your own own gifts, your own abundance, your own birthright. And that the way I'm looking at this, this um this um her, the um hermit is looking at the magician. Looking at the magician. And that could be why they're fighting. They could be fighting because somebody is sick of somebody manifesting off of them. And they're ready to create their own stuff. Because the fate, their fate is at stake. Whatever happens with that, you're going to have a better understanding of how you can be victorious. And your stability here on the earth. And this has how the devil is here. You're going to, this, this devil is, is sideways. You're going to be able to walk away. Walk away from it. And you're going to be able to balance yourself out. So let's see. I done said a lot right there. Just enough right there. And we're 20 minutes in. 20, it was 20 minutes zero, so 20 is balance. That's a two. 
Hmm. Can I have a... Oh. No. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. Nope. Nope, we're not doing that. Get on out of here. Not doing it. And it would be like that and the, de and the devil card is on, on the board. Right here. What is for the magician? Can I have a message for the magician? It's this devil. I knew it. They don't. Somebody's trying to keep you unbalanced. This is the temperance in reverse. Why is this here? They don't want you investing. They want they want your investments to be unfulfilled. They know you are the star, but they don't want you whatever it is you're man you're create you're creating for yourself to be fulfilled. They know that you could get this, but they want it. They want this gift. And it's interesting that the temperance card came in reverse. That is balancing your emotions. But you're, you're getting this gift in spite because you've ended. You've ended the cycle and you're balancing yourself out. You're balancing your emotions out. It's on the bottom. Six of Wands. You're going to be victorious. They were trying to distort. Because this was sideways. They were trying to distort your ability to be victorious. Can I have a card for the Hermit, please? Can I have a card on the Hermit? I think it's more than one. Nope. You're fighting. You are fighting. You went within... And they were fighting you. But you were fighting as well. That's why the strength card is on the bottom. You are fighting. And it has something to do with um, your gifts, um, religious beliefs, uh, leadership. Major, it's a major arcana. This is something major. They want to be able to, they want to affect your connection to spirit. Man, that made me feel a certain kind of way. Can I have another card on that? What else for the hermit? The sun healing. The sun, the, the whatever's being done, whatever was done in the dark is coming to light. The illusion has been revealed. Seven of Cups is in reverse. I'm taking it. Somebody was trying to keep you confused. And look at that. Here's the Wheel of Fortune again. Your fortune is here. It's in the upright, which is great. So it's not been tampered with. They don't, they don't want to mess with your Wheel of Fortune because they wanted it. But you're fighting for it. From my understanding, where we are in this type time of the year, we are we are accessing what belongs to us. But they don't want us to have it. They're trying to take it from us. A lot of us are understanding who we are, and they want to wipe wipe the slate clean. I have to. I have to. I'm going to have to um, connect the. Um, the um that Solera speaks message with this because she was talking about the memory, them swiping our memories so we don't remember who we are. They don't want us to remember who we are because if we remember who we are, then we can fight them. Because it's just an illusion. And going by this reading, we know who we are. We know who we are. The illusion has been revealed. Can I have a message on the 
Hangman, please. You are, the perspective is now, you know that you are emotionally balanced, emotionally fulfilled. That is your birthright. And by knowing that, this Ten of Wands is on the reverse. It's in reverse. I'm taking it. King of Swords, this is the truth. I'm going to take it. They were trying to put you back in mental prison or in a box. Some kind of, I say prison, but they're trying to, trying to mentally put you, get you back under control. I'm going to pull one more and then we're going to keep going. Can't make it up. It's the truth. You're understanding, and that's another that's another ace. Well, it's the sword, so it's two swords here. Let me keep going. I'm not gonna even deal with that. Two of Pentacles, you're balanced now. Her, um, Lord of Harmonious Change. So you're making a change. You're changing it up. Whereas they didn't want, they didn't expect you to come to this realization. And this change, how is it affecting the four wines? Love. You got a soulmate. There's something. You got a soulmate coming in. Or it's, you know, you're going to be with somebody or something is happening that's in your, in your stability that you're going to love. And it's coming soon. The three of wands is here. I'm taking it. Look at that. Chariot is underneath it. I'm going to take that too. There's the six of wands. I'm going to take that too because the six of wands were sideways. Whereas they were trying to keep you in five of pentacles. This is, this is most... Most of what you, when you're as above, so below, Pentacles is the last thing on the earthly plane. And they're trying to block you from getting, they're keep, they want to keep you in this five of Pentacles. But you got the wheel of fortune here. It's changing. You've changed some things. You're going to be victorious because a lot of us have been in lack on the earthly plane. That was how they programmed us. Lack mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, everything. They did everything to break us, but we're walking away. We're walking away from it. Can I have a um, card on the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune, please. I'll take it. It's, it's kind of falling. I'll keep it right here. Strength. The strength card is right next to it, but here's the strength card as well. You fought for this. You fought for it. They didn't want you to see it. This is two of swords. Lord of peace restored. You are restoring the peace that they didn't want you to see. Remember, they tend to sword you. And it could be more than one person. I don't know if we're going to get into that. Look at that. It is. Can't make this shit up. The, the five people. We talked about the five. These were, they were fighting you. These are, wines are weapons. Lord of strife. Strife, they were fighting you. Physically fighting, mentally fighting, but under... This gift, you're getting past that. There's that fighting. It's already there. What's on the bottom here? You get a new start. Under your own power, under your own authority, under your own birthright contract. You walked away. They still fight, no, because that card did not. They didn't want me to put it back there. Strength card. Can I have a card on the strength? You're fighting. They were fighting to keep you keep you hung. 
Spirit of the mighty waters. But you're fighting. E mighty waters. Emotionally. You, e you are fighting an emotional fight. Lord of the root of the powers of the water. You can drown people. You can use your intuition. It's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and on the bottom here. They fighting you for this money. I told you. I'm keeping it. They were fighting you. I, that five of pentacles. They were try, trying to keep you in lack. And look at this. It's the tower. There is a tower moment happening. I'm going to take that. Because of the action you've taken. Lord of domination. You have taken. They were trying to dominate you. But you have flipped the script. And because of that. You're going to be victorious, even though it's sideways. Can I have a card for the two, the six of wands, please? Can I have a message? Look at that. Three of cups. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be celebrating. But, but, there were people, three people against you. Because this card says Lord of Abundance and it's emotional. They were fighting you for this gift. You got wands here and you got cups. It's actions and emotions. And that's why that pentacle is coming because you need swords, you need wands, you need pentacle. No, you need swords, you need wands, and you need cups. In order for that ace of pentacle to come down. And here's here's this cup. Celebrating. They were trying to. This is a king of pentacles. Mm. Got a king of pentacles around you. That wasn't right. King of pentacles was being manipulated by this devil. But I'm going to pull another card on this thread. No, I'm going to take it. Yeah, this king of this king of pentacles know that you're going toward your lord of blended pleasure. And they don't like that. Not with them. When you get your own pentacle, you don't you, you don't have to be bothered with this king of pentacles. Or this king of pentacles could be trying to control your pentacle. There's some truth to what I'm saying. The emperor. We got the King of Swords and we got the King of Pentacles out here. Let's keep going. I'll pull one more. What's going on? Why is this King of Pentacles in reverse? Spirit. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Because of an action. And what was on the bottom? Yep, I told you. Four Cups. They want... Lord of Domination. This King of Pentacles wanted to dominate you. They were, they were, this is the devil energy. They're rushing in. They want, this could be, this could be the gaslighting um, card. This, this, this king could be coming in to hit it and quit it. This one could this could be who is doing the backstabbing. But you but you balance this energy out. Come on devil energy. Devil, what's what's this devil? Cycle is ending. The devil wanted to end you end cycle for you, but you're ending this cycle. This is the universe. You're ending the cycle of this manipulation of your will of fortune. Can't make this up. What's on the bottom? Knight of Pentacles. They had put a hole to your fortune. There was somebody trying to keep you from getting your birthright. Can I pull another card, please? Let's have a message. There we go. Four cups. Lord of blended pleasure. You're going toward Lord of blended pleasure. Lord of blended pleasure. 
after somebody was trying to backstab you. Lord of unstable effort. They couldn't do what they wanted to do. They were trying. You walk, you got away. And there's the there's the seven of swords again. They were they were trying to keep you from this ace of swords, but it came out. Wow. I'll pull one more and then we're done. Last message for the collective. Can I have a last message for the collective? It looked like it wanted to be in reverse, but star, you are the star. The devil, they know. They know. You've been getting messages about this for a while. Your gift is to be balanced. Lord of material success on the earthly plane. This is your birthright. It's not what they wanted for you, though. Hermit is here. And high priestess is here. You're going to be able to work with, build with that. This is the princess of uh, pentacles. You're going to be able to create with that. With your new start. And here is a king of wands here. This king of wands is upright. And you're killing yourself. There's the emperor right there. And you have clarity. Clarity and four pentacles. You're going to be stable. I'm going to leave this now. This was amazing. They were trying to stop you from your gifts. You are walking into your abundance. But that's only if you're doing the work. Only. This reading will only be for you if you have been healing and doing the work. And I think a lot of you are because a lot of major arcana came up. So you've been doing, you've been healing a lot of things. So I'm going to stop it right now. Can't, I'm going to call this whatever was done in the dark has come into the light. I, that's, I think that's what I'm going to call this. And I got to find that that video. The video Solera, from Solera. And I got to find that song. You talk too much. Because I hear it in my head. All right. You all take care. Thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Womb Conversations with Z. Peace.